I get it, I get it, I get it. The price tag on these is pretty steep at $225. But the quality on this shoe, whew, man, we gotta talk about them. YouTube, what's going on everybody? It's Source of the Way It Kicks channel. And let me start off by apologizing to all of you out there who have been following the channel because you notice I've been away from the camera for a good minute. Ever since I dropped that video on the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Utopias, I had to take a little bit of a hiatus just because I had some personal things I needed to deal with and I had some surprises that came up. Most notably, I hit not one, not two, but three pair of a shoe I particularly didn't even like that much, but I thought, hey, let me at least get one to go ahead and bring a review on a channel because there could be someone out there who actually does like this silhouette, but I'm gonna stay quiet until they actually get in here, guys, on <laughs> what that actually is. But because I hit three pair unexpectedly, it actually caused me to have to move a little bit different as far as making sure all the bills are paid, you know, cause that's the most important thing. In order to keep doing things on the channel, bills gotta stay paid, you know what I mean? In any case, guys, Quick updates on some sneaker releases. Number one, they're moving the date of the release for the J Balvin 3s. Now, originally we were supposed to get those on September 2nd, but now they're being moved. I believe it's September 23rd. I'll make sure to post it right here so you have the actual date. Now, coincidentally, that is the release date for the Palomino 1s. So it would have been a lot actually coming out on that day with everyone wanting to get Palomino 1s. Plus the J Balvin's, even though they're supposed to be pretty limited. I believe I have stock numbers here. I don't know whether or not those are gonna be the true stock numbers, but that's what people are saying is loaded on the back end. On top of that, there was a shock drop today on the Jordan Fort Red Cements, and no one knew about that. Well, I can't even say it's a shock drop. They sent out exclusive access on the Sneakers app. Now, I got exclusive access, but guess what? Yeah, I missed the notification. And I took a big old fat goose egg in being able to cop me a pair. But the release date for those is September 9th. So we should be okay as far as that shoe is concerned. Demand is somewhat kind of high, but not that high because a lot of people are hating on them just because, you know, we do have actually the Jordan 4 Fire Reds. And these technically are supposed to be Fire Red Cements and, you know, whatever, whatever. In any case, Let's go ahead and get into the review of this video. All right, here we go. And you have the box, guys, and you can see this cement spackle all over the box here. And you got your Jumpman Air Flight Club there in the middle, guys. And the label reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SE Deep Burgundy Light Graphite. Now, this is a size 12. And shout out to my guys at the finish line for allowing me to use a $20 coupon off on the purchase. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into these right here. The Jordan 5 Burgundy. Now, originally these released back in 2006. So this is a retro release of the shoe that we are getting now 17 years later. And there was some controversy out there because we did get some early looks from someone who posted the original 2006 pair in comparison to the pair we got here in 2023 and now that we look back on it i think maybe as far as the quality is concerned with that shoe it might have been considered a b grade which these may more than likely end up in the outlets just because of that price tag not unless they go on sale in which i think a lot of people will end up going ahead and copping because if you remember the quality on these to me actually a lot of people want to compare them to the UNC 5s, but I think these have better quality than the UNC 5s. That being said, we still, I don't believe, got any sales on them, but these, I possibly see that happening. Possibly. In any case, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, as you can see, we got this deep burgundy suede all over, and then you actually have your hints of that light graphite, but let me tell you what, this material here is transitional. Look at the strokes. I'm being able to create there on the toe box area, guys. And then obviously, you got your little light blue tint here to the side panels. The tongue itself is silver, and you got that burgundy jump man there in the center. Now, the lace lock itself is gray, and then, man, I can't remember what they call this other piece, but it's obviously part of the lace lock. It's completely clear. I probably would have 
made that actually burgundy myself and then maybe yeah left left the the rest of that lace lock there uh in that graphite color but that's just my idea i mean you may think different of it but i just think i don't i don't like the clear ones because as you know a lot of times this will yellow really badly and then no one wants that on their shoe in any case taking a look here at the midsole and you can see the sharp teeth there in that light graphite with the burgundy speckling in it back here guys and man all the way around i mean the quality on these are really dope and then flipping around here to the outsole you see you got that icy blue outsole guys with some hints of that burgundy in there especially at like the midfoot area but you do have the jump man here under the toe and man i have to say like the quality on mine is really really nice and you know, in a surprising fashion and not so surprising fashion, for example, like JD Sport Finish Line didn't do exclusive access on these. Maybe they knew something that the rest of us didn't know because there really was no line or anything to go in and get the pair. Now it is a Tuesday, so a lot of people obviously are working, but there's not a ton of resale value out there for these at all. Actually, I believe some places they are going under retail and i think a lot of people would consider picking these up once like i said earlier they do actually go on sale and then taking a quick look before i forget the sock liner itself you have that light graphite there on the sock liner and then you can see the jump man down there in black guys and then as always you got air jordan here written behind the tongue and let me go ahead and pull out the right shoe real quick and the quality on these yeah i got a decent quality pair guys i mean i definitely love the deep color of the shoe itself and then here on the back of the heel obviously you got the jump man there in that light graphite coloring as well and yeah this is definitely listen i didn't have that 2006 pair so these right here are definitely i can't even call these the next best thing this is to me, darn near a direct copy as far as what the quality looks like. Now, I would love to actually see what that person who posted that picture of the early pair of these got compared to what you got coming in now and seeing how they match up to that 2006 pair. But I have to say, just in talking with him overall, yeah, he's, he's really digging the way these are looking. So we don't know what the deal was with that pair. But in any case, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Jordan 5 Burgundies. I think these are fire to clean. Definitely just in time for the fall time, guys. I mean, look at this. This is like, this looks like a fine wine. You could almost put this in a wine glass and drink it, almost. <laughs> in any case, guys, this is Lewis of the Way It Kicks channel reminding you to be true, stay in the moment, and don't forget every day's a great day to where your kicks.